How's it going everyone? This is Medcat here, and today I'm going to talk about a few quick tricks to help memorize the sign conventions for thin lenses. So specifically, we have to remember a few assumptions before we jump into this. One, that these lenses are going to be infinitely thin, and two, that light is going to be refracted in these lenses ideally. That is to say, we're not going to have any of the imperfections of light, like chromatic aberration or spherical aberration that we might see um, in more kind of advanced physics. So the first sign convention that we want to learn uh, has to do with the difference between the converging and diverging thin lens. So over here we've got our light source and over here this is our observer or us. Okay, And we're going to have light coming in from our light source on this side. Okay. The diverging lenses will take that light and bend it out whereas converging lenses will bend it in. Okay. So the first one we want to take a look at is the radius of curvature. So for each of these, I've signaled in purple kind of where we're going to draw our circle from which we'll get our radii of curvature. So with this diverging lens, we'll extrapolate out a circle like this. And for a converging lens, we'll extrapolate a circle out like this. And you'll notice they go in opposite directions. So in the middle, we have our r, our radius of curvature. And for diverging lenses, radius by definition will be negative, and radius by definition with converging lenses will be positive. Okay. And then if we take a look at our lens equation, which I've shown down here, we'll see that if we cross multiply, that f will necessarily have to be half of r's value. So we can go ahead and draw that in, kind of helps us visualize things. So f will also be positive because it's on that same side of the lens. Should probably draw it um, a little bit further out than I have here. And then f will be half here. Okay, so that's the focal point. Uh, whoops, that's going to be negative there. All right, so those are kind of the sign conventions and how you can conceptualize them. So on this side, things will be positive. On this side, things will be negative. Okay. Now, with the lens, we have to think about what we actually want to do. We want to view an object. And if this is our eyeball, or we're observing over here, and we want to view an object, we want to view an object on the other side of the lens. It wouldn't make a lot of sense to put an object between us and the lens. So we would put our object over here. Okay, and the unique thing about lenses is that, not really about lenses, this works for mirrors too, is that we're going to put our object in front of the lens almost always. The only case where that wouldn't happen would be a more advanced case with multiple lenses where the image of one lens actually becomes the object for another. If that sounds complicated, don't worry about it too much because it's very unlikely to show up on the MCAT. But to be complete, we'll say if an object shows up over here, it will be negative. Okay. And then finally, we want our image, if we're the observer, to form somewhere in our eye, specifically on our retina. So I haven't drawn the eye, but this is an observer over here, and we want that image to form on our retina. So if we have that lens, we want the image to form on the opposite side of the object. So if we have an image on the side that we expect the image to be on, that would be positive, or a real image. Now if the image is over on this side where we don't expect it to be, it would be negative, or a negative image. Okay. So that's all we need to know as far as sign conventions. And uh, for the rest of these problems, we can pretty much figure out all the rest of the stuff. So if we only know, uh, for example, two of these variables, we can figure out the other variable from this equation and then figure out our magnification from this equation down here. Okay, So the only two things that we really kind of need to memorize that aren't as intuitive when we're conceptualizing the problem would be that converging or convex mirrors that bend light inward to the observer are going to be by convention positive and diverging by convention negative. That's it for today's MedCat video. Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and check out my comprehensive amino acid playlist, which can be found in the link in the description below.